everyone, welcome to Girls for STEM. Remember, we are here to encourage girls to pursue STEM. We are here to acknowledge other scientists who have navigated this sector. And we are here to introduce, to connect these girls to the endeavors, the industry, the technology, so they can have a real feel of technology. Today, we focus on one segment of acknowledging other scientists who have navigated this sector. And the segment is having a role model in a girl's career. Before we dive into that, let us acknowledge that one of the reasons there are few women in STEM is lack of role models. Lack of role models is a barrier to young women aspiring to pursue STEM. According to studies, women are more likely to perform well in STEM, stay in STEM, or pursue a career in STEM if they see examples of successful women in the field who looks like them. This is true for people of color. A role model. Let us define who is a role model. A role model is someone to admire. You may have met or never met. Inspiring to look at. Someone who paves the way and a glance validates your dream. How's that? Models foster a sense of belonging. They model your behavior. So, how do parents and guardians fit into this equation? Parents and guardians you are the first teachers that introduces your child to the world. You are the cheerleaders, the helpers in her life, even helping her choose her own career. The question is, who is your child's STEM influencer? Who pulls curiosity out of her? How does she know that there are role models out there? Young women in STEM or girls can find out about role models by reading about them, watching a movie about them, or searching on YouTube. Thank God to social media. Social media has done us a service if we use it wisely. During my young STEM career, I did not have a role model, someone to look up to, someone in my field someone who looks like me. I stumbled in that area. In my time, internet was not in the vocabulary. To have internet, you needed so much. And I stumbled understanding my field. If I had a role model, life would have been much, much better. And that's why I would like to advise young women in STEM to have a role model to validate their dreams. Role models matter. Seeing is believing. It's more difficult to visualize what you have not done before. And that's why a role model is an important asset in young girls in STEM. Would you love to live in space? Yes. Why? Only if I have the space area. Because in space it's awesome. You can see the stars very close. Yes. And you can take pictures of everything and you'll be standing on the moon and it looks nice. Wow, I'm so happy you love to be in space. So how do you think people go to space? How do they go to space? By a rocket ship. Wow, what is a rocket? A rocket is something that has an airport on top and it can go in space without any problem as long as you have put a lot of fuel. Wow, so you're saying it uses fuel, right? Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that's so nice. So how far is, do you, let's go back again. So how far is United States from Africa? Very far, like, very far. Like how far? A, a thousand kilometers or 10,000? <laughs> That's you are very, very, very smart. So how that's really true. So how far how how do you how do you know people go from uh, Africa to United States? How do they get there? By plane. Okay. So do you know how the plane flies? <laughs> how does the plane fly? A plane flies because it wing, the wings, uh -huh. they have flat things this side that make air come here and it spins around. Yes. So it can fly smoothly. Wow, that's very nice because the flaps control the air motion and also it, it helps the plane to be able to direct if it wants to go this way or if it wants to go to the other side. That's really, really correct. You are very smart. So did you know that, um, an, yes, did you know that an aeroplane or even a jet uses fuel, right? To go, to, to fly from one place to another, right? So do you know where the fuel comes from? From, they bring it from, they put it in a tank, then they push the tank on a truck, then they take it to the airfield or there where they are, they are jets and they put it in the in the airplane of the jet. And then uh -huh. when it's filled up, they close it, then the plane is free to go. Wow, that's really, really nice. So do you also know that the, nowadays they want to change, instead of pu putting fuel in the plane, it won't be using fuel anymore. Have you heard about that? What is it going, what do you think it's going to mm -hmm. use? What is it going to use instead of fuel? They want to be using a charger for, <laughs> for a plane. Yes. Yeah, you can say like a charger. Yeah, that's called electrical, electrical, you know, charging because it's going to use electrical, mm. yes, mm. Inste electricity instead of gas. That's really smart. You are very, very smart. You are really doing good. So that was very interesting talking to you. I really love to talk some more. So tell me, how was our discussion? What did you enjoy about my discussion with you? It was nice. It was amazing. I liked it. I liked the questions. They were very simple for me. Uh -huh. It was just awesome. Oh, that's so nice. That's interesting. No, thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Watching my channel, please subscribe. Click on the bottom, the bell shaped notification. Please subscribe. This is very interesting information. Enjoy it and make sure you can encourage a girl to pursue STEM. Please subscribe below. Subscribe below and do not forget to hit the bell shaped notification. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching Girls for STEM. Please subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell shaped notification. See you then.